Today's video is a continuation in our Madden Ultimate Team uh, free guide series, and today we're talking about uh, personnel. Uh, guys, for those of you who do not know, my name is Cody, and what we're doing right now is we're doing a Madden Ultimate Team uh, free guide series in which we're going to be giving you an offensive scheme, a defensive scheme, and a couple of uh, pro tips that you can utilize and it's going to be in uh, the form format of one of our ebooks and so we're doing all of the video content on our YouTube channel for free and we're also going to have um, a guide book that you're going to be able to download at the end of this series that's going to have everything in an organized manner and it's going to mimic what one of our Madden 16 products actually is and so um, the whole idea behind this is to give you guys some free content um, to really help you get better at the game. And so I'm hoping that this uh, series does, does what I want it to do. So anyways, guys, uh, what we're doing today is we're talking about personnel. And uh, one of my subscribers uh, was asking to have a Raiders depth chart breakdown. And so um, in this first section of content, we're talking about offense. And then, and then, and you know, and then, the, and then we'll release the offensive guide, and then we'll do a defensive one as well. So, um, what we're talking about today, though, is we're talking about personnel, and we're in the uh, Oakland Raiders depth chart. This is just the basic one. And the first tip to um, fixing your personnel is to auto reorder your depth chart. Now, you do this by hitting uh, triangle or Y on Xbox at your depth chart screen, and it's going to ask you, "Are you sure you want to automatically order the depth chart?" And you're just going to simply select yes. Now. Uh, what we like to do is we like to set up our depth chart for our base offense and then we're going to use um, the substitution menu at the play call screen to supplement all of our other formations. So the first thing that is important is to understand your depth chart and what you have. Now one of the cool parts about the Raiders is they actually have this secret punter Marquette, Queen, Marquette King who has 81 speed, uh, 82 acceleration um, and just has some really good running stats. Now his throwing stats aren't you know anything special but just wanted to kind of show you that if you guys want to kind of have some fun with him you can but um, if, as we're looking here uh, at this lineup here you're gonna see that uh, pretty much you you know Derek Carr is your guy now you are gonna struggle a little bit if you try to throw deep with him um, so you're just gonna need to be aware of that the next thing you want to look at as well is your you know your your quarterback's ability to, to be mobile and uh, what we're seeing here is that this guy Garrett Gilbert is actually probably the the second best mobile quarterback. Another thing that he has in his arsenal is he has a little higher throw power than Matt McCloin, better short accuracy, um, not quite as good as medium accuracy, and then one higher deep throw accuracy. So um, some very similar ratings here, but we're going to go ahead and put Garrett Gilbert as our backup here. Um, the next position is the running back, and um, the key stats that I like to look for at running back is, number one, at least understand you know, what your guys do well and, and this is kind of cool. They have George Atkinson the third, which is a Raider, uh, a former Raider corner, uh, actually. And so it's kind of cool to see him playing on the Raiders now. But uh, what you want to do, the first stat that I like to look at when I'm looking at running backs is route running, just to kind of get a picture uh, of what we're working with. And you see here this Marcel Reese actually has really good route running. Um, another one that has good route running is Roy Hallou Jr., Latavius Murray does not have good route running, so that is unfortunate, but he is a really good running back, and so obviously we're going to need to use him. But in third down situations, you know, we may sub in Roy Hallou or maybe even put Marcel Reese back there. Uh, the next thing you want to look at when you're looking at running backs is just kind of be aware of what you have. As you see, Latavius Murray does trucking really well. Tawan Jones does a looseness really well. One of the best moves this season is the juke move, and you can see. Uh, Tywin Jones does it the best out of anybody here. So that's always important to at least look at that. And then finally, you definitely want to at least examine your carry rating to know what you have. Um, and then you just want to kind of make an informed decision. Once you've looked at all these ratings and compiled all of your notes, then you want to say, okay, this is the best running back. This is, you know, this is what I'm looking for here. Obviously, for the Raiders, uh, Latavius Murray is going to be your starter. I mean, I don't think there's any question about that. But um, Tawan Jones is actually a really good backup running back. As you can see, he has 92 speed, he has 92 agility, he doesn't have quite the acceleration, um, but he also does have some really good things in his elusiveness category and his juke move category. Uh, Roy Hallou Jr. Um, is probably going to be your third down running back, um, unless you want to use Marcel Reese, and we'll get into how you distinguish whether you want to use Marcel Reese or Tywin Jones in just a moment. 
So from there, you go to your fullback um, form your fullback uh, position. Now, in our base uh, formation, we're running a 11 personnel set, and what an 11 personnel set is is it means three wide receivers, one tight end, and one running back. That's kind of the core, you know, basic premise of an 11 personnel set. So the fullback is really non-existent in uh, in this. So the formations you're going to be looking to use your fullback in is uh, situations where you check down to that strong tight pair formation. Um, you know, or goal line, or stuff like that, so, or like the pistol, okay? So that's what you need to set this guy up for. This is kind of going to be your pistol guy, but again, we can sub him out there. So what we like to do here is look for um, a guy with good run block. That's really the key stat here. So we're going to go over to the run block category, and we're just going to go through it and, and look at what we have here. So as you can see here, Marcel Reese does not actually have the best run block out of all these guys. Actually, the best run block comes from Thomas Gafford. Uh, as you can see here, the second best run block rating comes from um, Jamiz Alawale, and then we have Lee Smith. Now, the cool part about the Raiders um, is another key stat when looking at your at your run block rating is to also understand your route running rating. Is that, as you can see here, nobody really has uh, very good route running out of anyone except for Marcel Reese. Um, as we continue to go through this progression, what you're going to find here is that Marcel Reese is one of the most, um, one of the best versatile, most versatile players you're going to have. Now, uh, as you can see here, Gafford, who has the best run block, and Alawale, who has the best run block, do not have very good strength. That actually uh, resides with this Lee Smith card or this Lee Smith player here. So, uh, what we're going to do though is we're going to put uh, Alawale in at the starting fullback, and then you can you know do whatever you want with the backups. Uh, normally, the backups has some some kind of interest on special teams, but uh, as you can see here, that's what we're going to go with. Um, your backup fullback. If you go to your jumbo package and you put your your backup fullback will be your will become your primary fullback, and your starting fullback will move to your uh, starting running back, but that's just you know that's nothing that we're concerned with for this scheme. Just a fun fact about that how that works. All right, so moving into the wide receivers here, the key stat for wide receivers is route running and catching traffic. Those are really the two most important stats here. And uh, what you're going to see here is Michael Crabtree and Amari Cooper are very similar in both categories. Um, as you go down here again, you're going to find that nobody really does uh, a very good job at route running outside of them. So from there, you want to look at catch and traffic, and you want to look at speed. Um, and so, as you can see here, nobody really has good catch and traffic outside of this um, player here, Cl uh, Clive Walford, uh, Michael Rivera, and then uh, Seth Roberts. Now, from there, what we like to look at, if they don't have high catch and traffic, um, another key stat is spectacular catch. As you can see, this Clive Walford player has 81 spectacular catch, 79 catch and traffic, which is a decent combination. Um, and then we also like to go over here and look at speed. Um, and so as you can see here, this Clive Walford kind of drops off there with only 79 speed. Um, but this uh, Seth Roberts here has 90 speed, so that's obviously an option. Um, Andre Holmes versus Rod Streeter as well. You need to compare all of these guys as you're kind of searching through. And you see here that Rod Streeter uh, with 83 catching, he has 73 route running, which is the worst out of these three guys, but um, is not significantly different. Uh, his catch in traffic actually is the best. Um, unfortunately, his spectacular catch is really not the best here, so that's unfortunate because he is six foot three. Um, but as you can see here, it looks like the best uh, overall player is actually going to be this Andre Holmes guy. And if you want to get where you want to, you know, throw deep streaks down the field kind of thing, then you can put Seth Roberts in with that 90 speed. Um, you always want to go through and see if you have anybody, and you see this Andre uh, DeBose card. Um, he has 91 speed. Uh, as you can see, his catching and route running and catching traffic and all that is terrible. All he really has to offer you is a, one higher speed than Seth Roberts. So Seth Roberts is going to kind of be your deep threat. Uh, Andre Holmes is kind of your every down player. And then Rod Streeter is going to be your, uh, you know, your basic player that you're going to utilize in most scenarios like if you're on the red zone type of thing um, if you ever get to this but that's how you kind of understand what your receivers what you have at your receivers um, in my in my uh, in my personal opinion um, it's very important to get receivers with good route running so you know we're going to actually in our uh, in our lineup 
at the end in our guide we're going to have a full mutt head lineup that you're going to be able to find and we're going to give you a nice uh, lineup for cheap um, Michael Crouchy, as you can see, the one kryptonite to him is he only has 84 speed, but he does have really good catching traffic and spectacular catching. Um, his route running is similar to Amari Cooper, so you could kind of interchange them. They're very similar receivers. All right, so we get to the tight end position, and this is where uh, we have to make a kind of a, a ex educated de decision. And uh, Marcel Reese comes in with 87 speed, 78 strength, which is a pretty good combination of physical attributes. Um, another key stat is that he has 82 catching. As you're going to see, that's the best out of all the tight ends. Um, its route running is the best out of all tight ends. His catch in traffic is the best out of all tight ends. His spectacular catching is not the best out of all tight ends, but it is fairly decent. Um, and as you're going through these stats, uh, what you're going to find here is the only thing that he really drops off in is run block, uh, and that's 67. But the only ple players that do better than him is, is Lee Smith, uh, Thomas Gafford, and Jazz Jamiz Awalwe. And then from there, it's, you know, it's all linemen. And so what I'm going to recommend is that you put Marcel Reese at the tight end position. And it's going to give you a really decent pass catching option at that point. Uh, now from there, what I like to do is these backup tight ends, I just like to make them um, you know, good, solid, uh, tight ends for what we're going to do. I just like to, you know, kind of standardize it like that. So uh, I like to put Clive Walford in here. Uh, whoops. I like to put Clive Walford in here. Here's why. So 79 speed, 72 strength. Um, and then when you get over here, you're going to see that he's got 82 catching and 82 catch, or uh, 79 catch in traffic, 81 spectacular catching. That's pretty good. Uh, and then Michael Revere is going to back him up because he does have actually better route running. So. You know, that's kind of the key there. But 71 still is very low. Uh, so 59 versus 71, it doesn't really, there's not a big tail off there. Um, now, when you go to your linemen, um, this is just kind of a rule of thumb for linemen. So what you want to do is you just want to look for strength, and then you also want to look for whatever you want to do more. So, for example, with the Kansas City Chiefs playbook, it's more of a pass-oriented offense. So we want to look at pass blocking, and we want to have the best – um, best guys we can. So what you want to basically do is you just want to come over here to your uh, pass blocking section of your blocking statistics and you see that we're going to want to put Donald Penn in, we're going to want to have Gabe Jackson, Rodney Hudson, um, Austin Howard looks like he's one and then uh, from there it looks like it just kind of tails off so you can actually have Caliph Barnes. Um, so from there it really just matters down to strength um, as far as what you're going to do. So we're going to go Donald Penn, Gabe Jackson, Rodney Hudson, um, as you see Austin Howard's already starting, and then this right guard here, we're just going to look for strength. Um, you know, if you if, if your pass block is that bad at 70 something pass block, then I recommend looking into the run block and seeing if you can find any hidden stats here. Um, unfortunately we can't uh, find anything. So then from there you go to impact block and you see that you've got um, this guy um, Bergstrom, who has the same stats as Caliph Barnes, but he has 81 impact block, so that's why we start him over Barnes. Uh, you could argue that strength, you know, that strength rating is important too, so I'm actually going to put Barnes there and Bergstrom's going to back him up, but that's how we do uh, our personnel here for the Oakland Raiders, um, and this is just a little bit of a sample, a glimpse into how we do the personnel setups uh, for the uh, Madden Ultimate Team kind of rosters so this is what you can utilize and this is a little blueprint that you can go by uh, hopefully this is going to give you some value and I hope that this video helped you guys um, but that's all we have for you guys today we just wanted to go through and give you a little bit of a guide into how to do your uh, offensive depth chart and uh, guys if you enjoyed this video and you want to check out our previous video where we kind of introduced the whole series and if you missed that video you can find that in the description below and uh, guys, also, if you're new to our YouTube channel and you do not know, uh, our goal here is just to basically create a community that is all about getting better at the game. And we do that through a variety of different videos. And the video that you're seeing, if you have not uh, you know, found out by now, we're in our Madden Ultimate Team Guide Series. And uh, you can actually subscribe to our YouTube channel today and get access to all of those, vi all of those videos that we're going to be utilizing uh, in, the later, in the later on uh, section. And what that's going to do is you're going to be able to get access to this, this video content. 
Uh, for those of you guys that have subscribed to the YouTube channel, the only thing that I'm asking you to do throughout this entire series is just share this series, uh, share it on Twitter, let people know what we're doing here, um, so that they can, you know, so that they can actually have access to that content as well. Um, the main reason I ask you to do that is we're just trying to grow the community, and uh, you know, I'm doing all this content, and I'm just hoping that you guys can help me grow my community. Thank you so much for your time. And I really appreciate you checking out today's video, and I hope it helped. If you have any questions about the things discussed today, uh, please leave uh, a comment in the comment below. Uh, otherwise, guys, in the next video, we're going to start diving into uh, the offensive guide.